Tourland friends, thanks for watching. I wanted to get in front of the camera today to show you my really, really ugly looking baton right now. It has a lot of issues. So first off, I'll show you the camera here. I bust through the little ends, the tips of my batons all the time. So I like to buy a baton that the supplier has spare parts and this one does. So I was gonna show you how I replace these really quick. So all I do to take the little end of the baton off is uh, it's really simple. You just put it between your feet and pull. <laughs> and then take the other, your new tip and put it on. And then you get a couple hard hits and you can hear it go on. Simple. So I got a nice, new, shiny, clean white tip and a dingy big end of the baton. And usually what I use to clean my batons is one of these handy dandy erasers. And uh, this, this end is pretty, pretty hard off, so we'll see how good it does. So it looks better than what it did. Um, I would have just replaced this end as well, but I didn't have any handy right now. I need to order some. Uh, but it looks it looks better than what it did. It's probably about five years old. I hardly ever have to replace this end. Um, so now you can see my tape. It's pretty torn up. So I was gonna show you all how I like to tape my batons. So let's get this old stuff off there. Almost hit my face. <laughs> Okay, now that I got all the tape off, I am ready to re-tape it. Um, all you need is grip tape, scissors, and tape. I'm using yellow again. I use just a regular tennis racket grip tape that you can get at just about any sporting goods store. The kind I like to use is probably pretty rare for a twirler to like to use. It's pretty thick. It has um, it has tape on the inside of it, um, which I like. It kind of gives it a cushiony feel. But then a lot of twirlers, when they use my batons, they think it's so thick, it's just weird to them. So I've used it since I was like 10. So I'm used to it. Um, but you can, you can find grip tape it's a lot thinner without this sticky stuff in the middle. And if you saw me ripping off the grit tape, it's pretty hard to get off. It leaves a lot of residue behind. So it's really just preference. Um, the residue doesn't bother me because I just tape it back when some, um, you know, I always have tape on my baton, so it's not a big deal. So I like to start, I use my hands as a reference. And um, if you're a little bit, you like things to be a little bit more symmetrical than I do with your baton, then you probably want to measure it. Uh, but I usually do about two hands down. That's where I like to start. That's pretty good. And I always put it on at an angle. So, and because this is sticky, it makes it a lot easier to do too. Okay. So then you just start going down your baton at an angle. So you just start rolling it down. And I like to pull mine really tight. So there's, you know, no clumps or anything. So it just feels smooth. Okay. So you can kind of see the design right now. It's just coiling down. And you just keep doing that. As I said, it's a lot easier to do with the sticky on the back rather than not having it. But it's it's not as it's not that difficult to do it without the sticky either. So I'm just continuing down. See how thick it is? Some people don't like that. It's really simple. A lot of new twirlers I've found get kind of nervous when they 
start to take their baton so they always like to have me do it first and show them uh, but it's really simple you just you know, wrap it around and it's okay if it's not perfect just as long as it feels okay when you're twirling that's all that matters okay I'm getting toward the bottom usually don't Almost done. And when I get close to the bottom, I start measuring it again with my two hands to see how much farther I need to go. Uh, that looks pretty good. Then you get scissors and you just cut off what's left. It's really bad scissors. So there's that and always reinforce it with some tape. This is just some, what is this? Just regular scotch tape that came in yellow. Um, but I used to use a lot of black electrical tape. Um, but I just switched to colors because yeah, it's fun. I just cut it. A little bit of this off. I'll do both the sides. And begin first. Always do about two pieces. This stuff can get kind of clumpy. It doesn't bother me. It might bother you all. It's all just about preference. So you just gotta kind of figure out what works best for you. Do one more. I've been twirling for for um, 13 years now. Yeah, 13 years. So I've had some time to figure out what I like and what I dislike when it comes to what's going on with my baton. All right, now we're at the other end. Some more tape. Might need three pieces on this side because it's a little different from the other side just based on how the grip tape was made. I think this is Wilson grip tape. I don't know if I said that before or not. You can just buy it anywhere. Push them out. I'll do one more. I can see where my old lines were. Cover it. that simple when I was twirling just about every day of the week I found that I had to replace this kind of grip tape about every four to six months um, when I used the thinner grip tape though I would bust through it all the time and I would go through it like crazy it seemed like I had to wrap it once a week so that's why I switched to this stuff it just lasts longer I hope you all have enjoyed this mini tutorial of how to take care of your baton. If you have any questions, just comment below. I always respond to every single one of my comments. So if you have a question, just ask. Also make sure you like, subscribe, and check out my website, howtotwirlbaton.com. Thanks for watching y'all, and I'll see you on the flip side.
Bye. 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 Bye.